Hi, I'm Manu Inte Reime from Star Trek Voyager and uh, One Tree Hill. It, it's always a struggle as an actor. You know, you never know. I, the old cliche, I think people, a few people have said it a, a million times, but the last person that I heard say it was, um, can't think of the name of the actor. But every time you do a job, you wonder if it's your last, you know. Um, especially if you have a TV gig and you're doing a, a couple seasons on a show. Um, the last time that I had a, a steady, like, you know, month's job was tw One Tree Hill. And that was 2012. And every, ever since then, I've jumped from indie film to indie film to guest star on a TV show here, you know. But never that steady work. And that's what pays well and what we're all searching for. Um, so the last three years, I've done nine indie films. Um, we've got four coming out this year. Um, I just produced a film called Fifth Passenger with Tim Russ and Doug Jones and Marina Sirtis and myself, and I'm missing one, uh, Armin Shimmerman. Um, and uh, we'll have that out early next year. Um, but how I got here, it's a long road. Um, when I was 17, I actually, you know, when I was a kid, I moved around a lot, and I was always did community theater when I stopped. So I knew when I saw Peter Pan when I was four years old that I wanted to act. I saw the actors start flying around stage, and I was like, I want to do that. So I pestered my parents to move to Hollywood, but I, they never would. And at 17, I was doing a play 400 miles from Hollywood in a town called San Luis Obispo. And a manager happened to be in the audience from L.A. and approached me after the show and said, what are you doing after, after high school? And I said, I, I don't know, I'm maybe go to school, I want to be an actor. And she said, well, I'll represent you, I'll get you an agent if you move out to L.A. So I did, packed my bags and moved. Um, and there's been 10 or 12 different agents and managers since then. Um, but. Uh, she was she retired probably ten years ago, um, but it's that game of you know always auditioning and always trying to get a project created and it never stops. You're always looking for your next job to literally throw yourself out there. I mean, literally bang the doors down. Um, nobody is, especially if you're talking about acting. No actors last more, even if you make it. You don't last more than five or ten years if you don't start developing your own projects, if you don't start producing. Um, it's very rare that anybody's going to keep their flame burning just by getting hired by somebody else. Um, so if you want to make movies, if you want to do anything in movies, go out there and do it. Like um, uh, Kickstarter and, and Indiegogo and has provided so much of an opportunity to people. Um, start making films. I mean, cameras are getting cheaper and cheaper, um, which has done a weird thing to the industry because there used to be 5,000 feature films a year uh, 10 years ago. Now there's 50,000 feature films a year. So there's a lot of work, but there's a little bit of pay, and the quality of the work has gone down. So there's all these movies getting made, but a lot of bad movies are getting made, you know? Um, and so it's really easy to find work, but it's hard to find good paying work and quality stuff. But the only way that, if you're an artist, to grow and to learn and to find out what you can actually make as far as a film, a piece of art that, that's marketable, is to make it. You know? If you don't have any money, start small. The first movie I made was a $5,000 feature film that we did on a horrible camera. Um, we didn't get a release, but we showed it to all our friends. We worked a year on it, and um, I'm glad that it didn't get a release. <laughs> but I learned so much from that process that you, you quickly graduate to what I have to do better.